Life Audio. Hey friend, do you ever feel like the busyness of life makes it hard to slow down and truly connect with Jesus? Do your priorities and passions feel jumbled and out of whack? Then join me this summer on my podcast, How to Study the Bible, as we dive into Spiritual Rhythms, a six-week series that will lead us through six spiritual rhythms to help us slow down and make space for Jesus in the busyness of everyday life. To guide us, I've put together a free downloadable six-week study available at nicoleunis.com slash spiritual practices. The study will walk us through God's word as we learn to embrace daily practices that draw us closer to Jesus. Each week on the podcast, we'll walk through one spiritual rhythm that helps us discover how to spend intentional time with God, align our passions and balance our priorities, and make time and space for restfulness and celebration. Download Spiritual Rhythms for free today at nicoleunis.com slash spiritual practices, and I'll see you on how to say the Bible. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christian Natural Health with naturopathic Dr. Lauren DeVille. Christian Natural Health is the podcast on how to get and stay healthy God's way. You'll hear topics on nutrition, exercise, sleep, avoiding toxicity, meditating on scripture, what supplements to take, stress management, defeating anxiety and worry, how to reconcile Eastern medicine approaches with Christianity, and a whole lot more. Now, here's your host, Dr. Lauren. Today I'm going to be continuing my apologetic series. Um, I, I'm, this one is actually a little bit out of order, so I should have done this before the fossil uh, record one. This one really fits a little bit better right after the information theory podcast. Uh, this one is on the Miller-Urey experiment. Let's bypass the idea that DNA, the blueprint for proteins, couldn't come about by random chance. Perhaps the process worked backward. Perhaps the proteins came first. That was the concept behind the Miller-Urey experiment of 1950 in which the chemicals thought to have been present in Earth's primordial soup, water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen, were all combined and subjected to electricity meant to stimulate lightning. To simulate lightning. Proteins are made of 20 amino acid building blocks, and this experiment successfully produced more than those 20. There are more possible amino acids than just those used in our own core set. This experiment was heralded as proof of abiogenesis, or the production of life from non-living matter. There are a number of major problems with this, though. First, the amino acids produced in this experiment, and in all subsequent experiments like it, produce a racemic mixture of amino acids, meaning the orientation of the molecules is a combination of non-superimposable mirror images of one another. This refers to the positions of non-symmetrical components of the amino acids, whether they're on the right or the left side, much like our thumbs on our left and right hands appear on the opposite sides as non-superimposable mirror images of one another. However, in nature, amino acids are almost exclusively in the L form. Its opposite, called the D form, causes the subsequently formed protein to misfold. Since a protein's 3D stru structure is determined by the chemistry of its building blocks the stru and the structure is critical to its function, this makes a protein built of a racemic mixture of amino acids non-functional and toxic to life. This problem has never been circumvented in the laboratory, but even supposing it were, supposing the early environment beginning with chemicals in the primordial soup might somehow produce only L-form amino acids, we'd still have the information problem. Without DNA instructions to tell the body which amino acids to use in which sequence, the average length of a mammalian protein is about 400 amino acids in length. The probability of each amino acid out of 20 being placed in the correct sequence at random is 1 over 20 to the 400th power. If you plug odds like that into an online calculator, what you get is 0. The probability is effectively 0. And that's just the random formation of a single protein, assuming the orientation of all the amino acids was somehow magically corrected. A single irreducibly complex cell would require somewhere between three and 500 of those. 
And that's not even addressing the entirely separate question of, of, in abiogenesis of what constitutes life. A dead body has all of those functional proteins, but they no longer do anything. Why not? What is the indescribable something that they have lost? And thus, what would need to be bestowed upon a spontaneously produced protein to cause it to function, even supposing such a protein could be produced in the first place? So I will leave you with that question. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Well, the physician comes in and says, tells this lovely couple, hey, your son's not going to make it. But there's a young girl here in the hospital who just delivered a baby girl and she's given her up. She's going to leave her here. Do you want her instead? That was chart topper Ryan Stevenson sharing a personal testimony on The Walk, a podcast for worshipers. Join us weekly to hear artists, songwriters, worship leaders, filmmakers, and other creatives tell their stories in the form of a devotional. The Walk can be found on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast platform. Thanks for listening to Christian Natural Health. This show is run by you, so please write in with topic and guest suggestions for future shows. For more great content, subscribe to Dr. Lauren's blog at www.drlaurendeville.com or follow her on Facebook or Twitter at Dr. Lauren Deville. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to share it with your friends and give us a five-star rating in iTunes. It really helps us to stand out so other people can discover great content as well. Have a great week and God bless you. Hello, hello, Quinice Petway here, co-host of the Your Daily Bible Verse podcast. Are you someone who loves to take a deep dive into God's word one verse at a time to explore his will for your life and desire to draw closer to him? If that sounds like you, I'd love to invite you to head over to lifeaudio.com and search your daily Bible verse to tune in and subscribe for daily inspiration, life application and spiritual transformation through the in-depth exploration of God's word.